Well, hello there, fellow peasants. Today we're going to be talking about Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Uh, this movie came out in 1980. It stars Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall, directed by Stanley Kubrick. And it is one of my favorite films of all time. It is my third favorite film of all time. First being The Ninth Gate, second being The Exorcist, and The Shining being the third. Basically, this movie is about a man named Jack Torrance who takes his wife Wendy and Danny up to a hotel to take care of it over the winter while the employees are gone. Uh, during the interview with the manager, Jack Torrance basically hears the story. The manager's like, look, dude, I want to keep it real with you. Uh, years ago, this guy took the same job, brought his kids up here and his wife, uh, got cabin fever, got claustrophobia, and he took an ax, chopped him up, and he stacked their body parts uh, nicely into a uh, hotel room here. And Jack Torrance doesn't seem to give a shit. He takes the job anyway and moves his family in and uh, tries to write his book. He's, uh, he, was a, he was a school teacher. He quit that. He decided to become a writer. That's not turning out so well. So he's taking these odd jobs. He's kind of a fucking loser. And so he, he gets this odd job for like three or four months out of the year to take care of this Overlook Hotel. What I like about the film and why I think you should watch it, I think the cinematography is excellent. Uh, the camera work is uh, top tier camera work from Stanley Kubrick. The uh, directing is amazing. He gets the best performances out of these people. The character development is where it's at in this movie. The acting, the slow burn. Uh, it doesn't just give you everything right away. You have to earn it. You have to watch the movie all the way through. It's not a slasher movie. You're not going to see blood, guts, and gore all the way through and a bunch of kills. Uh, this is more about character development and the slow unraveling of this man's mind over time while he's living in this hotel with his family and the spirits of that hotel possessing him, taking control of him, uh, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, he loses his mind shortly, slowly. Uh, his, his son has a special power called Shining. Uh, he can see things that other people can't see. He can talk telepathically with people. Uh, one of the employees at the hotel while they're giving the tour talks to Danny, tells him I also can shine. I, I, know, I know that you can too. Uh, and so there's, this, there's just a lot, of, a lot of weird shit going on in the movie. It's well shot. It's well done. You're not really going to find better than this in the horror genre anymore. This is the pinnacle of what a horror film is. Uh, the only horror film I put above this is The Exorcist. Um, so yeah, uh, go into this knowing that it's going to be a slow burn. You're not going to have action or scares or jump scares all the way through. It's a very well done character development movie and uh, it has great, great atmosphere great score, great cinematography, great fall and winter um, atmosphere. And yeah, guys, other than that, um, oh, I also want to say that the 4K scan is excellent. I would give this an 8 out of 10 uh, rating on the 4K. It's not reference quality. It's not up there with digitally shot 4Ks, obviously. This is a 40, I don't know, 40-year-old, 40 40, 40, 41-year-old film. And so uh, it's not going to look crystal clear as a digital 4K would. But anyway, this movie looks excellent on 4K. The opening shots with the foliage look really detailed. The HDR comes through a lot better on this film in certain scenes. And so I think you would appreciate it. If you've never seen the movie before, please rent it or buy it. If you do buy it, please buy it on hard copy. Uh, the hard copy comes with a 4K, a standard Blu-ray, and the digital copy. So there's no real reason to just get the digital copy. Uh, unless you don't have a 4K or Blu-ray player, but please try to support physical media and buy the, uh, the disc. Uh, other than that, uh, have a good uh, Labor Day. I hope you guys have fun. Go get fucked up. I know I will. And peace out.